Here's a quick thin lens question here. You have a simple convex lens with a focal length of 15 centimeters. And just a couple questions. Uh, you have a candle, you're going to put it near the lens, and you want to make a real inverted image with magnification 2. Where are you going to put it? So let's see. We can think about it. We can just do a little drawing and remembering how a lens works. One and two. Okay, well, there's a converging lens. There's two focal points. And you know you might remember that if this is f, if you go out to 2f, you get an inverted image at 2f. So you put this here, and you do three easy rays, you get one down there. Magnification 1, inverted. We've been asked for magnification 2. So let's see, to go farther, you go closer. Uh, you might recall if you go farther, this gets smaller and closer to the focus. It's like eventually if you go far enough parallel rays, we'll just focus right here. You know, magnification of 0. All your images will end up right there. But if you go closer to the focus, that makes it bigger and farther away, like that. And eventually, if you had a point source, if all your light at the focus, everything comes out parallel. That's the image of infinity. So remember, I usually like to think of 2f as my starting point. If I want more magnification, I go towards the focus. If I want less magnification, I go farther away. Of course, you don't have to draw any of this if you just use a thin lens formula. So we can just say 1 over s plus 1 over s prime equals 1 over f, and the magnification formula minus s prime over s. Object distance, image distance, focus. So the quick way to use it is to say we want it to be negative 2. Ah, so I said the magnification of 2, but it is inverted. So you put in negative 2. This was the magnitude of the magnification. And if you said, wait, I didn't understand if that was plus or minus 2, you had to know it's minus 2 because it's real and it's inverted. All right, so minus 2 is equal to minus uh, the image distance, which we don't know, s prime, and the object distance, which we don't know, s. So either one of those. But we do know that there are a factor of two difference between them. So if we're looking for where the object goes, let's leave 1 over s here, and let's plug in here and put this as 1 over s prime is uh, 2s. That. And that equals 1 over 15. So there we go. Is that correct? Hey, I'm doing this right. So this is 2 over 2s, which is 3 over 2s. So then let's uh, come over here. 3 over 2s equals 15. All right, so that comes over there. It becomes 30. So it's, uh, no, whoops, let's see. Uh, what is that? Set. So, sorry, two, uh, okay. 3 over 2s is 15. So that comes here, and s is 3 over 30. Over 1 over 15, 3 over 2s is 15. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so s, uh, s, s, 3 over 2 times 15 is 3. Oh, I'm sorry. Here it says 1 over 15. Oh, there you go. Yeah, don't forget to put your 1 over f there. Yes. That was just a demonstration for you guys. So this becomes um, s is 45 over 2. All right. Uh, so it equals 22.5. 22.5 would be the distance. And you can check. Does that make sense? Well, according to our little discussion here, it should be uh, less than 2f, but more than f. It should be in between somewhere. 1530. Yeah, 22.5 is in between. There we go. B, virtual image. Magnitude 2, where's it go? Or uh, magnification 2. Well, so I'd probably start by saying, where is it that I put uh, an object in a virtual image? Inside the focus. It must be in here somewhere. You put it in there somewhere, and the image, the, the image will be a virtual image. It'll be inverted, upright, it'll be behind somewhere, something like that. That's all we need to know. So when we get our answer for the uh, where the object goes, it should be inside that. Basically, all we need to say. So these two formulas are the same, though. One over the object distance plus one over the image distance equals one over f. One over f. And the magnification now needs to be s prime over s, image over object. But now it's equal to positive two. Positive upright virtual image. 
All right, so we're going to do the same thing. 1 over s plus 1 over s prime is now um, negative 2 uh, s. Yeah, let's double check. Yes, negative 2 s right, equal 1 over 15. So 2 over 2 minus 1 over 2 is 1 over 2 s equals 1 over 15. So that one I won't uh, do is pour on the algebra. That is 7.5. s equals 7.5. You're asking where did the negative go? It went away when I subtracted those two. Right here, that's just 22. So we say, is that inside the focus? Yes, because this focus is at 15, it's halfway to the lens. Now I'll remind you that these distances are from the lens. Um, 